Okay, this thumbnail was a fake. But what is also fake are these videos similar to this one showing fake front level progress. Ooh, by saying fake I don't mean that they use resistant bands like me in the intro. They simply create unreal expectations of progressing in calisthenics, especially with skills like front level planche and so on. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. How is it possible that some guy can learn full planche in a six months or front level in six months? And how is it possible that there's me still training for front level after six years and still can't hold the full front level? So I will start this video by saying that all those videos you see front level in 50 days, front level in six months, front level after one year. Well, that's a little bit more real, but still the chance you have this fast progress to learn front level in six months is like one in a million, but there's still a chance. For most people, including me, you will progress far not fast, you will progress slower. Be ready for that disappointment. Now let's talk about why you will have a slower progress than those guys you see on the internet. Firstly, I would like to talk about genetics. Uh, Zdenek, genetics again, we heard that many times, but it is true. When you are naturally strong, like even without muscles, you will progress faster in calisthenics. I have like, no, not big biceps, but uh, they were even smaller. And even with those, I am weak. So naturally I'm like weak. Let's just accept this truth. If you are, for example, nerd without movement, no sport, you are naturally weak, you will have a hard time progressing in front level. In, or in, I'm, I don't know why I'm talking about front level all the time, but I mean in, in everything. Talking about genetics, another point is if you are pull or push guy. I saw many times athletes doing full multis, full planche push-ups, but then they are barely holding front lever. Front lever pull-ups not existing. The big difference in skill difficulty, especially in the levers, is your body type or like how is your body built. If you have, for example, bigger legs naturally, you will simply have the hardest time of learning something. Imagine being weak naturally, like in arms and everything and having big legs for some reason. That's a calisthenics grave, guys. <laughs> if you have huge calves, you know, everything on the end of the lever weights more. Even though the weight of the muscle or like part of the body uh, doesn't change, if you put it at the end, it will weight more. Another thing is connected to the previous one about body type and that's skills are not hard. What? What the f The difficulty of the skill is set by your body type. So if you have one meter long upper body, just for example, and three meters long lower body, impossible. Every skill will be so hard to learn because it's lever. And as I said, everything on the end of the lever or closer to the end will weight more. On the other hand, if you have three meters long upper body and one meter long lower body, easy. Full front lever in 10 days learn, full planche, full multis, everything. Or if you don't have legs at all, you won't even have to work out because you will simply just lift up your upper body and nothing will pull you down. Just work out and put a little mass on the upper body, maybe some weight on the head. <laughs> and the last thing I will just quickly uh, mention it because I don't know much about it and that's about how much testosterone you have, how fast you can recover. Everybody has that different. The diet is big part of progressing in general. And now we will dive a little bit deeper into this topic because when you watch a video with title, I learned front lever in 50 days, for example. Mostly those people, those athletes did work out for a longer period of time. For example, three, four years. So they have the basic strength to do the front lever, but they never did it. They just simply do the front lever holds or some exercises and they get it automatically. Because as I said, for the first time now, they have the basic strength. So they learn it in 50 days, they edit it, post it on the internet and now everybody, oh my god, you learned it in 50 days, how is it possible? Well, they trained for five years already, for example, but <laughs> that's why they learn it so fast. That's the first case. But the second one is 
The day started from a real zero and that's the one guy from a million or even more that will have this fast progress even without training basics that much. It seems like they did only three front lever holds and they can already do advanced tuck. Meanwhile, I trained for the advanced tuck for five months, I, I believe. And I forgot that, that if you are that type of guy that have like total chicken legs, not, not the normal legs, but total chicken legs, you should start immediately calisthenics because you will have that fast progress in calisthenics skills. So now let's check out a few videos here on YouTube. The most famous one, I think, about front lever, about learning the front lever is from Brandon William, uh, this famous YouTuber. I saw his other video where he tried to learn one arm pull up in like some days and he got it. So that's a little hint that he has a strong basics. Even though there could not be that much carryover from one arm pull up to front lever, I'm just saying that if you can do one arm pull up, you are pretty strong, so <laughs> that's why you can learn it faster than me, for example. Even though his first clips shows a shitty form, he does it right from the start with straight arms, and that's a lot harder, obviously. And he's already doing races, so full front level races I did almost like in my fourth year of training with correct form. And already on the day 38, He's doing full front level. That could never happen if you have weak basics. Uh, the second video I wanted to show you is pretty much the same as the previous one. But the thing that caught my attention is his like reaction to his uh, five seconds front lever hold after 60 days. All right, I did it. Five seconds on the front lever. So that's cool. Gonna add that to the resume for sure. But it was a good challenge. As you can see, he's not even happy about it. He's like, yes, I did it. I did full front lever. I will be more like, yes, I did it. Finally, after 10 years. <laughs> so this is like the thing. If everything was easy, you won't even be happy to finally learn it after the hard work you put in. So that was the second video. And the last one, if I will find it, I will not. Front lever journey. This is video one and a half year front lever transformation, 24 seconds in seven months. We will watch only the first clip because that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. First front lever and he's holding it like me after five years of training. He has a strong basics, strong base. So that's why he just did it without even training it. So I know that it will be hard to clean the form, do it with straight arms. The thing is that he can do it already without even training it. So guys, don't believe everything you see on the internet because you don't know the background of those athletes you see doing full planche in, in like half a year. You don't know their background. If they trained five years of basics just, or they just started out. You don't know. There's nothing that will make you progress faster than you should, than you will. So uh, don't care that much about it. Just keep grinding and you will get those skills you work hard for, eat enough protein and build muscles. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this helpful. If you wanna join this topic, you can comment down below. Uh, what is your opinion on ab about these videos or in uh, like progress thinking skills in general and I'm sorry that this video was like only talking again I was ill and I'm still a little bit so I hope the next video that will come out on a sun Sunday as usual will be more about actually working out okay guys have a nice day and see you in the next video